I want to tell you the worst weed that I deal with in the springtime. Not only show you the weed, but I'm going to show you how to take care of it. There are certain weeds when you run a lawn care business doing weed control and fertilization that you just can't wait for to go away for the season. So in the summer, I would say that weed is probably nutsedge. I'm out there spraying nutsedge all summer long. And when it finally gets cold enough where the nutsedge stops growing, I'm so happy that I don't have to deal with nutsedge again for the rest of the year. But what about the springtime, late winter, on into spring? What is that weed that I just cannot wait till it gets hot enough that I don't have to look at again? Let me show it to you. We'll go show you how to kill it. And here's the tricky part here. You look at this and you think, wow, that is a clean Bermuda yard. Now I know some of you's got cool season grasses. You, you say, oh, it's not green. This is what a Bermuda yard is supposed to look like in the winter. When you look at this, this is clean, super clean, though it appears. But as you get closer, let me show you what the weed is that we're dealing with. And some of you've seen this weed. But you see right in here where it's brown, 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 and then you got this weed right here known as annual bluegrass or poa annua, P-O-A-A-N-N-U-A. -N -N we just call it poa, P-O-A. Well, here's poa annua, and it looks like just a little green weed. And sometimes in the late winter, early spring in my area, I'm in Alabama, you may see it one yard, it looks like this, and you see another yard, it's almost totally green. And you think, wow, how'd they get their yard to green up so fast? What it actually is, is the poa annua. The poa has turned it green. So you see, as you get down in here, it's brown, dormant Bermuda. And that's not the Bermuda grass turning green. That is the poa, that little green thing right there. And it will take over an entire yard. So what do you do about poa? Well, I'm gonna show you some of the products that I use to control poa in the yard. POA is a, and again, I'm shortening it to POA. POA is a cool season annual weed. Okay, so what does that mean? The cool season annual weeds typically germinate, me being in Alabama, when the weather gets uh, down cool, usually sometime in October is when this POA starts germinating. Now, there's been some research to show that POA also will have another big wave, possibly even a bigger wave of germination about now when we get into february that's the time i'm recording this video weather starts warming up you get another wave of germination of poa annual again might even be more germinating then in the fall but typically when you got a cool season weed that germinates in the fall you want to put your fall pre-emergent out before that weed germinates i'm going to show you a couple different products that you can use also going to spray uh, this I'm going to show you the, the post emergent product that we can use. So we're hoping to get ahead of it with a pre emergent. I did that, but I found out that there are certain yards, this being one of them, that just seem like every single year get poa annua. And I've tried different things and they just get it and, and it's they, I don't know what it is. They don't drain well. There's just something about it that the same yards get it every year. Now I feel like it's slightly better this year. Uh, than it was before, but it still gets POA. So I'm gonna show you the post-emergent product that we're gonna use to control this POA once you already have it in your yard. Now, one thing you might be saying is, Jason, do you even need to worry about the POA? I mean, I'm sitting here looking at this yard. If you wouldn't have got down close, you wouldn't even have seen it, you know? And, that, and that's true. I mean, I basically had to get right here on top of this weed for you to even be able to see it. I mean, from, from 10 feet away, I'm not sure you can even tell that the pole is there and yes, you're really looking for it. Well, the thing about that is it's because of the time of year. So as we get closer to March and these temperatures start warming up, that pole is gonna start growing. Now, I will say this, one year Bermuda starts turning green, and I'm just using Bermuda grass in this situation, poa can get in other types of grasses as well. But when it starts turning green, the poa won't be as noticeable. But there's gonna be a period of time here in a few weeks where that poa is really gonna start to grow. It puts up a seed head, which is, by the way, gonna be the seeds that drop and gonna be your poa for next year. Uh, or, or later this year so that it becomes a more visible problem so what i want to do from a lawn care perspective what i've been doing is i go around spraying my pre-emergent early in the year i know I, I take note on my schedule which yards have a poa problem and and it's very small percentage i'm gonna say like one to two percent 
that have POA breakthrough. And I've mixed up uh, the chemical that we're going to be using. It's called Revolver. I mixed that up in my tank, and I've marked those yards. And so today, I'm just going to run around and spray a few yards with the Revolver to try to get it before the POA starts looking big and ugly. You know, if I wait three more weeks, I might get a call from the customer saying, hey, what's this green weed on my yard? If I do it right now, I don't even think the customer has noticed that the pole was here. I noticed, and that's just being observant while I'm out spraying, marking it, taking care of it before the customer notices. Let's get to spraying. So let's talk about some of the products that we use to control POA annua. We talked about putting out your pre-emergent in the fall. Let me give you two options. This is the product that I'm using on Bermuda and Zoysia yards, and sometimes even on centipede and st augustine yards at a lower rate though those typically do not have as much of a poa problem as a bermuda yard bermuda's you know typically going to be your worst as far as poa uh, more so than zoysia st augustine or centipede that's been from my experience but anyway spectacle flow some of you gonna fall out this is like 2100 bucks for this gallon that goes a long way so the cost per application is not crazy expensive but it is an expensive product but this is the best product that i know of as far as a, a pre-emergent for a poa annual now if you want a cheaper option you can use a prodiamine herbicide this is what we use typically early in the year to control crabgrass and but also you can use this especially if, if you don't have a, a bad poa problem in your yard this can make a significant difference putting this out in the fall but again I've found personally that some yards have a POA problem. It doesn't matter if I use this or this or this and this, and you know, they just get POA, okay? Like that one we was just out there spraying. I mean, it just gets POA. I use Spectacle, it still gets POA. Uh, it's not germinating in, in February. It was already there in January. It germinated in the fall. It's there. It was there last year. It was there year four. Some yards just have a POA problem. And in that situation, you want to switch over to some post-emergent options. So you got Revolver here is the one that uh, we're using. I'm going to, uh, the one that I've been using. To me, this is about the best product you can get as far as post-emergent for POA, for uh, Bermuda, or Zoysia lawns. Now, other cheaper options, Revolver's expensive. It, you got Tribute Total. Well, it's also expensive. But anyway, they're all expensive. Okay, let's just get to that. Celsius is not crazy expensive, but not quite as good. But it will give you some action on there's another product called negate uh they said tribute total there's a lot of products that will give you some control revolver is probably the best but again uh for my yards i'm spraying spectacle hoping i have no poa and 90 something percent of the yards have virtually no poa in them so it's very few that i got to come in with a specialty post-emergent to control the POA. When you're mixing the revolver, you can put it in a little handheld sprayer like this at, at one ounce per gallon of water and spray it lightly. In my tank, I'm going to go with 12 ounces per acre. So it's a tiny amount. I'm going to mix up about 25 gallons and it, it's going to be, you know, somewhere around the neighborhood of three ounces that goes in 25 uh, gallons of water. So it's a small amount, but still the sticker price on some of these herbicides are going to make you fall out of your chair. Something to note, and this is not just with POA, but with all weeds, is typically, or I say all, all, almost all, typically they're, they're going to die slower when the weather is cooler. So yes, I'm spraying it out here in February, cool temperatures. It's not going to be a fast weed to die. Uh, I, I should have mentioned also, another option is on a dormant Bermuda lawn, you could spray glyphosate on dormant Bermuda only. And I think that will give you some control as well. But again, going to be very slow. Sometimes when you spray POA, it's going to basically turn yellow. I mean, it just turns yellow before it dies. It's just, if we can get ahead of it with a pre-merger, that's best. But uh, it can be slow, so don't, don't think it didn't work if two weeks go by and it's barely turning at all. Uh, all these are going to be slow, but as the weather warms up, it's going to grow faster, you know, if, if it's not treated, but if it, uh, it also can die faster, the herbicides are going to work faster. Again, that's not just with polo, that's just a general principle with herbicides. Herbicides, herbicides, these people, somebody crazy said the H is silent. Okay, herbicides, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, nitpickers on here want to leave stupid comments like that. Tell me the H is silent. Well, they shouldn't have put an H if they wanted an H not to be pronounced. Herbicides, we'll go with it like that. Anyway, hope this video has been helpful. Poe was a pain. Uh, can't wait for May to get here and it dies out. And I would tell somebody that, that shows up in April and it's got a, a yard full of POA and they're like, I got POA all in my yard. You know, I, just tell them, man, it's going to get hot. It's going to die. So when I had this question the other day, 
you know, if I pick up a new customer in April and I go out there to spray their yard, I'm not putting revolver in there. I'm not worried about the pole. I, I tell them, hey, this pole is going to die out soon. It's not going to be as noticeable you start mowing your grass. I don't feel responsible for that because it wasn't my yard last year. You know, now if it's my customer and I sprayed the pre-emergent in the fall and they got POA, you know, this spring, then it's my fault. I want to go out there and fix it. But you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of money going out there to try to fix a weed that's going to die in a few weeks anyway from the heat. That just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And if the customer demands that, just charge them for it. You know, if I guess if they want to pay a premium, I would do it, but I would seriously try to talk them out of doing that. Wanted to mention 2024 Lawn Care Life Conference coming up February 23rd, 24th, Springville, Alabama. If you hadn't signed up, go ahead and do so now. We've got a record attendance this year. This is the fourth time we've done it. Got a lot of good speakers. Alan Hayden, Lawn Care Nut, Caleb, Brittany Allman, uh, Jeremy Vest, Jeremiah Jennings. Who else is coming? Paul Jameson. Naylor Taliaferro. Anyway, I'll probably let some people out. Great sponsors too. We got Yardbo, we got Landscaping Bookkeeper, we got Crest, we got Ferris, we got Xmark, uh, Cujo, giveaways. Xmark's giving away a, a 30 inch commercial push mower. Milwaukee Tools giving away a bunch of battery equipment. We'll, we'll have equipment. We got about 80 acres. We're going to have Ferris mowers, Xmark mowers, Crest uh, equipment out there. So, a lot of good times, February 23rd, 24th. Use the promo code 2024, you'll save 10% when you register. And if you sign up more than one person, you'll save an additional 10%. That just automatically happens when you go to sign up. Sign up is at LawnCareLife.com and go to the top of the page and you'll click on conference. That's also where you'll find the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy. If you want to start a weed control and fertilization business like me and you live where you have warm season grasses, I don't know of a better resource, go to LawnCareLife.com, check out the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy. There's also pricing charts and a bunch of other stuff on there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Let's get rid of the POA in your yard.